Smoke from manufacturing plants, factories and ports can release toxic chemicals that lead to both pollution and climate change. A company in Southern California designed systems that can prevent such pollutants from being released into the air and in recent years they've implemented the same technology in parts of China. Um, we created our own entity in China that addresses the pollution problem and anything related to that in China for China. And we um, shared all of our technology that we've developed here for years. Because I figured, you know, um, we have to be able to share all of this with trusted sources so they can also do good for, for that part of the world. Anusha is excited about the APAC leaders meeting this week, where China and the United States discussed yeah. cooperation on issues of climate change and the environment as the two countries together represent over 40 percent of global emissions. China and the United States enjoy great potential for cooperation in the fields of promoting green development and addressing climate change. We had the opportunity to uh, focus uh, more deeply and substantively on the issue of climate change, on low carbon green growth. Uh, we compared and contrasted uh, some of the work that we are doing in our respective jurisdictions. Uh, and we talked about our proud past in relationship uh, to the exchange of ideas and ideals in this space. When California's Governor Gavin Newsom traveled to China in October, he signed a number of agreements with local governments and met with the Chinese Minister of Ecology and Environment. The Ministry of Ecology and Environment will strengthen the existing cooperation mechanism with California, continue to implement the relevant work of the Memorandum of Understanding and further strengthen cooperation in carbon market, climate investment and financing, adaptation, environmental law enforcement to play a positive role in China-US environmental and climate cooperation. That cooperation could have a positive impact on environmental companies and investments that are aiming for more bilateral opportunities. The sooner we start collaboration, the sooner we see all of us as one trying to address this issue, the better it would be for our next generation as well as for um, the growth of the industry. With each side bringing in its comparative advantages in manufacturing technology and other resources, more effective climate solutions could be on the horizon. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.